guys and welcome back. I will be doing question number two for the textile, clothing and fashion CSEC May 2021 paper two exam. Question A says, figure one shows a color wheel with the letters A to F representing the colors. The position of A has been given as red. So we have A, B, C, D, E and F. And they have identified position A as red. Now it says complete the following table with the name of the color represented by letters B and D and state whether the color is primary or secondary. For label B, which is here, the name of the color would be orange and the type of color would be secondary. For label D, which is right across from from A, that color is green and the type of color is secondary. So we would have gotten a total of four marks for each correct answer that we have there. Next question, outline how paints can be used to create the color pink. Now, since pink is a tint of red, which is achieved by adding white to it, that is how we are able to create the color pink. So that would give you a total of two marks for that answer. Question B. Samuel purchased a pair of white pants made from 100% linen fabric. The pants had the following care symbols. And these care symbols are identified here. Number one is non-chlorine bleach. Number two is line dry in the shade. And number three is iron on high temperature. Discuss one way in which any two of the care symbols could assist Samuel in caring for the pair of white pants he purchased. So I will be looking at the chlorine bleach as well as iron on high temperature. Um, for the line dry shade, you can comment below what answers you would give for that um, after I have done the question then I will give my two cents as to what I think the possible answer could be so the iron with high temperature symbol indicates that the linen pants needs to be ironed while damp on the right side and on that particular temperature which is high this will ensure that all the creases are removed from the pants the pants can be dampened after being completely dried or a steam iron can be used along with a pressed cloth. So for the linen pants, we know that linen pants crush easily. So you want to ensure that you are using an iron with the highest temperature to ensure that the creases or the wrinkles are removed completely and we want to ensure that you are pressing either with a steam iron to remove the wrinkles or we can dampen the pants after it has dried. Using non-chlorine bleach such as hydrogen peroxide along with your regular detergent will help to keep the brightness of the color and reduce yellowing of the garment and that is how you can use non-chlorine bleach in caring for the white pants now for the line dry in the shade i would say that for that one we could keep the pants in the shade so that the direct sunlight doesn't burn it out but then it's a white pants so there's not much burning out of the sun to do as opposed to if it was say a colored linen pants but we want to ensure that it's still in the shade where it's cool and it can be blown out easily and dry easily by the breeze as well as little sun now question c says martha bought a jacket made of 100 percent wool after a few months, the jacket developed a number of tiny holes and also smelled moldy. Now, we are going to assume that the jacket was stored either in a closet or it could have been folded and placed in a drawer. And the tiny holes would indicate that it was because of insect damage. 
So the first question says, suggest two measures which could have been used to prevent the problems which Martha encountered with the jacket. Now, in order for Martha to prevent the problems encountered, she could store the garments in a dark, dry, well-ventilated storage area, which is like her closet, to avoid the mildew and the insect damage. She could also use mothballs in the drawers. Now, the mothballs tend to prevent insects from crawling drawers as well as damaging the garments that are there. The second question says, suggest two new items that could be made from an old woolen jacket. And two items that we could make are a pot holder and a purse. If there are any other suggestions that you think you could possibly have for this question, please feel free to write them in the comments and let me know. And of course, this question is worth a total of 16 marks. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video if you found it helpful. Until next time.